ساتو ای پسرو وینو داد شهیدانو کور داد باتورانو کور داد باتورانو کور داد باتورانو کور داد باتورانو کور ساتو ای پسرو وینو داد شهیدانو کور داد In the name of Allah, good evening and welcome to this hour's news. I'm Suleiman Talash and this is RTA News. Today is 21st of September 2024. Mullah Khairullah Khairkhwa, Minister of Information and Culture who attended and delivered a speech at the International Conference of the Union of Cultures in Russia on September 11. After returning to the country, he considers the trip to be a success in various cultural fields for Afghanistan. The Minister of Information and Culture also held separate meetings with Russian officials and Afghan teachers living in Russia on the sidelines of this meeting. Our participation in this meeting, which was held in St. Petersburg, Russia, in which there were more than 40 speeches, most of them were presented by ministers. Our goal there was to promote the culture of Afghanistan and the wealth of Afghanistan in this area and to provide grounds for the arrival of tourists and to protect them also in this area for exhibitions in other countries for the handicrafts of Afghanistan. Creating and presenting the real picture of Afghanistan were the main goals of our participation in the meeting. Alhamdulillah, it was done very well and it was requested by all the participants to keep this relationship continuous. Rashid Muradov, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkmenistan, in bilateral meeting with a joint delegation of the Islamic Emirate in this country, said that they will invest more than $1.5 billion in the field of transport, energy, and a number of joint infrastructure projects in Afghanistan. On the other hand, analysts consider the investments of neighboring countries and basic projects in Afghanistan to be beneficial in the economic strengthening of the country. We have more in this report. Turkmenistan is going to invest one and a half billion dollars in the infrastructure and development of Afghanistan's economic infrastructure. This investment will be in trade, transit, energy and transportation sectors, which will be effective in the growth and development of Afghanistan. This is really a big help to us that they are doing. Afghans must stand on their own feet. And through these services, even from the TAPI project alone, Afghans will receive approximately 500 million Afghanis. Other facilities such as jobs will be provided to people. Transfers will be made. Trade will be easier. And prosperity will come. All these things have an important role in the construction and self-sufficiency of Afghanistan. Right now, everyone is preparing to invest in the sector. It is the foundation and development of Afghanistan economy. The government also needs to provide them with the necessary facilities and even help them attract more investors to build infrastructure. It will have a positive effect on economic stability and development in Afghanistan, especially on the stability of the Afghan currency. Also, thousands of jobs will cr be created for professionals and non-professionals in Afghanistan. Also, the country of Turkmenistan will bring real technology, 
scientific skills and experiences to Afghanistan, which will benefit the Afghan cadres in the relevant fields. Maulavi Azizur Rahman Mansour, Deputy Minister for Regulating Mysticism and Religious Places at the Islamic Emirates Ministry of Hajj and Religious Affairs, said at the 30th Conference of the Union of Islamic Countries in Tehran that Muslim unity is more important than ever before. The Deputy Minister of Guidance, Hajj and Endowments also said that during the three years of the Islamic Emirates rule, in Afghanistan, Islamic Sharia has been enforced, security has been ensured throughout the country, drug cultivation and smuggling has been banned, and major development projects have been launched and the country is moving towards self-sufficiency. The construction of six water supply networks in Kogiani district of Ningarhar province worth more than $200,000 was completed and put into use with USAID funding. The network has created jobs for hundreds of workers and with its completion, nearly 20,000 local residents have access to safe drinking water. The Ministry of Mines and Petroleum says that it has collected more than 10 billion Afghanis from mining in the past year. Officials of this ministry and the program are to describe the achievements of the Emirate Department say that during this period, they have surveyed and discovered 646 new mines of various minerals in 28 provinces. Let's see more in this report. The Ministry of Mines and Petroleum says that it has collected 4,479,929,000 Afghanis in the venue from mining in the past year. The ministry's officials added that 647 new mines of various minerals have been surveyed and discovered in 28 provinces of the country last year. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, I thank Allah at the time that a meeting is organized by the leadership of the Ministry of Mines and Petroleum, according to the order of Amir al-Mu'minin Hafazahullah. It's our hope that Allah will cause this treasure to heal the pain of Afghans. Last year, the Ministry of Mines and Petroleum collected a total of 10,479,029,568 Afghanis in revenue. It is worth mentioning that in the first five months of 1403, approximately 4.4 million Afghanis has been collected. The ministry says that. It has signed contracts with 13 large-scale mines in eight provinces and 168 small-scale mines with domestic and foreign investors in the past year. The ministry's spokesman added that during this period, about 78,000 carat of emerald worth about 5.5 million US dollars were sold to domestic and foreign investors through open tender. Until now, in the course of 25 tenders, about 78,000 Crates of Emerland worth approximately 5.5 million US dollars have been sold, in which the Islamic Emirates share is 10%. The ministry officials also added that the process of extracting petroleum products from 21 fields in Qashqari, Angut, and Wak areas of Amur River is underway, with about 1,300 tons of crude oil being extracted daily. Thousands of people have been directly and indirectly employed in the country's mines. The work of retaining walls and canals in Maidan Waradak province at a cost of more than $200,000 began with the presence of Mujibur Rahman Omar Akonzada, Deputy Minister of Water of the Ministry of Energy and Water of Maidan Waradak, Governor, officials, and local residents. At the lunch ceremony, the governor of Maidan Wardak said that one of the commitments of the Islamic Emirate officials to the people is the reconstruction of the country, and he asked the people to cooperate with the officials of the Islamic Emirate 
in the reconstruction sector. More than 6 million Afghanis in cash was distributed to 1,590 affected families by CRS in collaboration with the National Disaster Management Agency for Affected Families in Bamiyan Province. According to the National Disaster Management Agency, the money was distributed to 1,059 vulnerable families in Yakaolang district and the center of Bamiyan based on an agreement signed between CRS and the National Disaster Management Agency. In addition to reaching 563 cases in two weeks, Balkh Provisional Court Urban Primary Court and Military Court of Balkh Zoon have also executed 513 bells. That's all for tonight. We will be back with some more news updates. Until then, stay tuned. Have a great night.